first of all, let me welcome Mark. And what I was going to do is share my screen with y'all and share his bio, right? So for those of you that don't know, Mark's got a full a full profile on findacdlp.com. And when you come in here, and I want Mark to share a little bit about himself, but one of the things that I realize as my mouse is scrolling over, when I'm looking at Mark's profile, right? He goes in and he talks about how important it is and how he does what he, and what's important about what he does. He's talking about divorce mortgage planning and the consumer workbook, but look at all the licenses and the bar associations. That's what I actually found most impressive, Mark. You know, um, so yes, you've got your license, you're licensed in multiple states, Connecticut, Florida, right? And so on. Um, Maine, Massachusetts, you've got your CDLP, you know, you are certified as a, as a, as a CMA through MBS Highway. As you, and then he's a member of the Bar Association. He's a member of Collaborative Professionals. He's a member of the Connecticut Council of Non-Adversarial Divorce, right? That just sounds super cool, but I'm sure <laughs> you're doing great work there. How long ago did you get your CDLP and what made you, or how did you find the Divorce Lending Association? What made you sure. want to obtain this certification? So one thing that my friend told me early on um, when I started in the business was find yourself a niche. So in the first few years, the first two years that I was in the business, I was searching, you know, was it going to be FHA? Was it going to be VA? What was the, what was that going to look like for me? Well, he helped me go through my divorce. Um, and we made some not so great decisions during that divorce period. Um, so I, I don't remember exactly if I Googled or whatever the case was, I Googled divorce lending and I found the DLA site. Could you, and would you share with us? So you've been here in coaching. You're one of our platinum coaching clients. I think you were one of the first ones to jump on. How has that been for you? And I'm not here to sell coaching you guys, but I really just want to give you a little bit of insight into Mark's background and history. So when we talk through some of these questions, cause you've been in coaching now for probably four months or so. Can you share with us um, maybe a situation or a case study where you leveraged the divorce mortgage planning report, where you feel it truly benefited the the consumer, like they understood it, they got it, and the attorney kind of had a aha moment? Absolutely. So I was working with a client who, um, she lives in Fairfield County, Connecticut. And if anybody knows Fairfield County, Connecticut, it's a very wealthy county in Connecticut. It's right outside of New York, Manhattan. A lot of the really wealthy um, investment bankers and those guys make their home in that rural, as they call it, part of Connecticut. It's super, it's super dense and super city, but they think it's rural. Um, and this woman was um, the mother of four kids. She was She was pretty young and her husband they decided they were going to get a divorce and um, he was paying her a ton of money in alimony and child support. Um, but it wasn't enough for their very expensive home. So I put together the divorce mortgage, mortgage planning report um, to show her and her, her attorney and her family law team, what she was going to need in order to afford this home that she needed to keep her, her and her four kids in because they were young. I think they were between the ages of four and nine. Um, so I, I show I shared with them how much more money she was going to need, and they ended up getting it. Mm -hmm. um, and I ended up doing the loan, which was tremendous. It was awesome. You think it was really beneficial for them to see that kind of in the divorce mortgage planning report? You're yeah. able to show, you know, it's kind of for us, right? It's like a 1003 meets a, you know, yeah, different kind of a report, but to be able to share look, this loan doesn't work for these reasons. However, yeah. you know, these, this loan works and here is the backup documentation. Here's where I'm showing everything. And this is how we need, this is what you need to get it done. And, and they were able to do it. What's one way a CDLP can kind of get past the gatekeepers. I know we have our 1020 approach and we, we all have different ideas. And so we're, you know, and we're all doing the approach, right? But mm -hmm. when you, when you get there and you have that opportunity, What's the one thing that these CDLPs can do or say to get past that gatekeeper to, to make an impact and get to the attorney or the mediator, the financial planner? Um, I, I, like I said, I, I got involved in the bar associations and the various uh, collaborative groups in my area. I go to the, uh, the CDFA meetups. I, I did the mediation training, the 40 hour mediation training and the 12 hour collaborative training mostly so I could get in front of people and they could meet me and, and, and have some FaceTime with them. And that got me in the door with, with a lot of people. Um, 
Mark, what advice do you have for other CDLPs, right, that are navigating the complexities of the market that we're in um, and they've got this CDLP? How are you using it to really stand out in the market, right? How is it helping you? We know the market's tough. We're not going to buy into all that rhetoric. How are we leveraging the CDLP to truly stand out and make a difference, not only for your clients, but to be impactful for your family, you know, that you're not hurting financially like some of our, unfortunately, some of our colleagues are? The most important thing that, that I could tell a new CDLP is follow the process. Jody and Lynn and, and all you guys at DLA, lay out the process black and white for us. Follow the process. They make it easy for us. They really do. Mm -hmm. um, don't try to deviate from it. I know you're going to want to. Some of the things are difficult to do. Um, but if you follow the process, you will see returns. I started following the process right out of the gate. And I don't remember the time frame, but I got a meeting like within the first week with an attorney group in Hartford, which is the capital of Connecticut, that area there. Unfortunately, she ended up canceling it. But the point is, like, if you follow the process, it works. You'll see results from it for sure. You know, one thing that we've known is it's tried and true. It's tested, right? Yeah. Time and time again. Yeah. Those that are following the plan that are executing, you know, I have access to MMI data. I pull production numbers. So I see yeah. those that are, you know, our members and how they're executing. And, you know, a lot of you guys, even though the, yeah, the market's tough, we're still outperforming, you know, um, our colleagues, right? How do you explain to the divorcing homeowner? what it is that you do and how you're different than their cousin who's a loan officer. Right. So I always take a few minutes in the beginning to introduce myself and to explain to them what a CDLP is. I am a, I'm a certified divorce lending professional. Yes, I am a loan officer. I do mortgages just like you would in a purchase transaction. But my specialty is that of a divorce mortgage planner. I'm going to help you throughout your process make the appropriate decisions, the decisions that are best for you throughout your divorce process. I'm going to provide you with my divorce mortgage planning report. That's going to show you some examples of what you can do and what you can't do so that you can navigate uh, this difficult process that you're going through and you and your divorce team can make the best decisions that are possible for you.